If you're experiencing uneven brake wear on your vehicle, you're not alone. This common problem can be caused by a variety of factors, including driving habits, mechanical issues, and even the quality of your brake pads. In this video, we'll explore the most common causes of uneven brake pad wear and provide you with some tips on how to diagnose and fix the problem. Whether you're a seasoned mechanic or a novice driver, this video will help you understand the importance of proper brake maintenance and give you the tools you need to keep your vehicle running safely and smoothly. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Stuck Slide Pin The caliper can move back and forth thanks to the slide pins. Moisture and debris can accumulate on the pins and cause corrosion. The caliper will not move properly if the pins become corroded. When this happens, caliper's stopping power decreases. If the pads are not repaired, they will begin to wear unevenly. Brake Pad Quality There are various types of brake pads. You can choose an inexpensive set, as with anything else, but you generally get what you pay for. If the pad quality is poor, you may notice uneven wear, similar to what happens with tires. It can also happen if the brake pads are not changed at the same time and one is worn out more than the other. As a result, we always recommend going with a higher quality option. Yes, you will pay a little more up front, but the better pads will last much longer. Furthermore, you should hear less braking noise and have more confidence in the stopping power. Bad or Sticking Brake Caliper Piston The caliper pistons must move smoothly. Sticky calipers are caused by rust or debris on the pistons. In this case, the brake pads drag on the rotor and begin to wear unevenly. There may also be a mechanical problem with the caliper piston. The caliper will not engage if the piston is frozen. Stuck pads in the mounting bracket While stuck brake pads in the mounting bracket are uncommon, they can occur and cause uneven wear. During normal operation, the brake pads are located in the caliper mounting bracket. This is more common in areas where there is snow and road salt. If these are not properly installed or cleaned during the last brake pad replacement, the pads may become stuck in the bracket. In addition to the excessive wear, the brake pads would become hot and begin to pull to one side. Rotor Thickness Variation The brake rotors also influence how the pads wear. You may notice uneven pad wear depending on the thickness of the rotor. If the rotor thickness is uneven, the pad will not wear evenly. You may have to replace your brake pads more frequently than necessary when the rotors should have been resurfaced or replaced instead. How to fix? You can correct and even brake wear by repairing the underlying problem. First, remove brake pads. You should start the job by removing brake pads. Here is the algorithm for how to do it. Start by loosening the lug nuts on the wheel and jacking up the vehicle. Remove the caliper bolts and carefully lift the caliper off the rotor, taking care not to damage the brake line. Remove the old brake pads from the caliper bracket by pulling them out or sliding them off the retaining clips. Use a brake pad spreader tool or a C-clamp to compress the caliper piston back into its housing. You can proceed to the next step now that the brake pads have been removed. Second, clean the mounting bracket. Now is the time to clean up any rust or debris on the mounting bracket. Cleaning methods vary, so choose the one that works best for you. Some people recommend a wire brush, while others believe a brake cleaner and a rag are more effective. Sandpaper can also be used to gently remove any impurities. Wear appropriate protective gear to avoid breathing in brake dust or chemicals. Third, check and lubricate the slide pins. When it comes to cleaning the slide pins, we find that a wire brush combined with brake cleaner works well. Before lubricating, clean out any debris. When you're ready to lubricate, use high-quality grease. Make sure not to over-apply any of the areas and instead apply a uniform coating. 4. Replace brake pads if worn. You should replace the brake pads because they have worn unevenly. Even if there is some remaining thickness, it is best to start over, especially if you have determined what is causing the wear. Replacement of brake pads should always be done in pairs. As a result, if you replace the right front brake pads, you should also replace the left front. The same can be said for the rear brakes. However, unless all of the brakes are worn, you do not need to replace the rear brakes with the front. 5. Check the brake caliper function. You want to make sure the calipers are working properly now that you've changed the brake pads. Otherwise, you'll end up with the same problem you started with. If the caliper had been seized, you would not have been able to move the piston during the brake replacement. The caliper can be rebuilt, but few people do so. It is simpler and less time-consuming to replace the faulty caliper. 6. Replace Warped Brake Rotor When dealing with a warped brake rotor, you have two options. You could start by resurfacing them. The rotor is resurfaced by placing it in a machine known as a brake lathe and smoothing out the surface. This is only possible if there is enough thickness remaining on the rotor. Furthermore, it does not always solve the problem because the rotor may warp again after the process. The other option is to have the brake rotors replaced. 
On average, the rotor costs between $35 and $100 plus labor to install it. To keep everything uniform, replace the rotors and pairs once more. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.